Hello everyone. Before talking about the book, let's first discuss the book's author, Norman Vincent Peale. He was an American minister and author known for his work in popularizing the concept of positive thinking, especially through his best-selling book, The Power of Positive Thinking. The philosophies of The Power of Positive Thinking book has helped millions to reach their personal, financial, spiritual and relationship goals, this book of Peel has helped many to replace their negative thoughts with positive beliefs and also helped to break the worry habit and also helps to generate a character which isn't afraid of any circumstances. Everyone should understand that positive thoughts and beliefs lead to a positive reality. Positive thinking and beliefs will take you on the positive path and also help you to achieve your desired goals and success. The Power of Positive Thinking Summary is written to suggest some techniques and to give examples which demonstrate that you do not need to defeat by everyday problems. This book says that you can have peace of mind, improved health, and a never-ceasing flow of energy. You can have full of joy and satisfaction life by being positive. This book teaches you how to stay positive and how to handle problems and sorrows in your life. Author says never try to ignore your hardships and tragedies, but always handle every situation with positive mental attitude. There are few chapters in this book in order to make us understand the power of positive thinking. Believe in yourself. Author says to believe in yourself, have faith in your abilities, author says that without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers you cannot be happy or successful but having a sound self-confidence you can succeed, author says insecurity and inadequacy appears with the attainment of your hopes, but self-confidence gives you self-realization which leads you to success, hence always have self-believe, always believe yourself and your potential, never underestimate yourself. Confidence and Willpower a peaceful mind generates power. Author says many problems occur because of mental thoughts. Hence the primary method for gaining a mind full of peace is to practice emptying the mind. Author says have you feel the sense of relief when you pour out your problems stress and issues which lay heavy upon your heart, do you feel sense of relief after sharing your sorrows to someone you have a lot of trusts, having that someone in your life whom you can trust and can share anything will always keep you and your mind at peace, and having a peaceful mind generates a positive power. Hence always try to keep your mind away from negative thoughts. And always have one person in your life to whom you can discuss all your worries and sorrows. How to have constant energy. Author says, how we think and feel has a definite effect on how we actually feel physically. If your mind tells you that you are tired, then your body mechanism, your muscles will accept that as a fact. Hence if your mind is intensely interested in something, then you will do that work with your 100% focused, author says that religion functions through thoughts, in fact, it is a system of thought discipline, author says, by supplying attitude of faith to the mind it can increase energy. Hence always say positive things in your mind, always try to be optimistic related to your health and body. Try prayer power. The author says that experts in physical health and well-being often utilize prayer in their therapy. The author says that disability, tension, and troubles can generate because of lack of inner harmony, and prayer shows remarkable results in restoring the harmonious functioning of body and soul. How to create your own happiness. Author says who decided whether you should be happy or not, who decides what you deserve and what you don't then answer for this is it's you, who decides for your own self. It's on us what we choose, do we choose happiness or do we choose distress, life is good if you make it good, hence always choose happiness for yourself, as you must have noticed that children are more expert in happiness than adults, because children choose happiness for themselves, they never allow negative energy to influence them, author says a person who carries attitude and spirit of a child into the middle and old age is a real genius. Stop fuming and fretting. The author says that many people make their life unnecessarily difficult by vanishing their power and energy through fuming and fretting. Here fuming means to boil up, blow off, to be agitated and fret means is equally descriptive. Expect the best and get it. In this chapter, the author has shared a story of a man whose son for failing in every job, it was quite difficult to understand the reason behind that boy's failure because he had everything, he belongs to a good family, his educational and business opportunities were beyond the average but still he was failing, 
everything he touched went wrong, that man's son tried hard but still he misses the success, but later he found an answer for his failure, and after practicing that answer he started. Facing success, he acquired the touch of success, his personality began to focus and his powers to fuse. When author asked him the reason for his success, and the reason for his sudden remarkable change, to this that young boy replied that a very simple answer made his life successful, he said a very simple thing changed everything and that simple thing is believing, he said that he learned the magic of believing, he said that he came to know that when you expect the worst you'll get the worst, and if you expect the best you'll get the best. The author says that his sudden success wasn't anything related to magic, but because he had learned the most powerful law of the world and that law was learn to expect, not to doubt, such believe will bring everything into the realm of possibility. Don't believe in defeat. Here author says that if you are having thoughts of defeat that he asks you to get rid of such thoughts because if you think of defeat then you'll get it. Author asks you to have I don't believe in defeat attitude. How to break the worry habit. Here author says that you don't need to be the victim of worries, here you can reduce it by just knowing what actual worry is, the author says that worry is simply an unhealthy and destructive mental habit, you were not born with worry habit, you actually acquired it, and as you can change any habit and acquired attitude, you can cast worry from your mind. The author says since aggressive and direct actions are needed and very essential in an elimination process, the author says that there is one proper and the best time for attacking worries and that time is just now, hence start overcoming and attacking your worry from now onwards. Author has shared certain ways which can help you to solve your personal problems. The author says that you should have a belief that for every problem there is a solution. Always keep calm, tension block the flow of thought of power, the brain can't operate properly under stress. Never force your answer, keep your mind relaxed and let the answer become clear and visible. Assemble all the fact impartially, impersonally, and judicially. Pray about your problems. Trust in the faculty of insight and intuitions.